Today we're going to talk about azelaic acid. Hi everyone, I'm Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skin Care. I'm a cosmetic chemist with over 30 years experience in creating skincare formulations and working with the skin. So today we're going to talk about uh, an ingredient that I absolutely have become a huge fan of. It's azelaic acid. It is a dicarboxyl dicarboxylic acid. I love saying that one because it's a little bit of a tongue twister. But what is it? Azelic acid is not an AHA, it's not a BHA, and it's not a retinoid. It is a very different element, although it functions very similarly in your experience when you're using it on your skin. It's going to help with exfoliation, you're going to feel it working, it's a little bit tingling. So this is the mechanism. It really gets into the skin and it works on really cool things. So for example, if you have acne or post acne marks, it's excellent for fading those marks. It's going to help with the discoloration of the skin. But at the same time, it's an antioxidant. And at the same time, it's really going to help calm the skin and works on sensitivity. So you understand that this mechanism of the azelaic acid, how it's working on the cellular renewal, on evening out the pigmentation, where you have marks or scars leads, leads this to be a very useful, powerful ingredient in a skincare routine. You can use this, for example, on acneic skin. So if you have acne or you have oily skin and you notice that you have bumps on your skin, you have old scars on your skin, you have clogged pores, Azelic acid is fantastic. A lot of dermatologists, a lot of doctors prescribe azelic acid at 15 to 20% concentration. Most skincare out there, you'll find azelic acid, if you do find it, at 10% or below. I like to be around the 14% concentration, although you can do daily doses of azelic acid at a 1%. But being able to boost it and use it as a spot treatment really allows azelic acid to get into your skin and really do a lot of what I like to think of as clarifying benefits. So for anyone who's interested, you know, maybe you're on a system where you've got a bit of acne, you know, that's the stage in your life, acne or post acne. Or maybe, you know, you're more on the anti-aging and you want to refine your skin texture. Azelic acid is going to play a very important role in the quality of your skin, how refined it is, on the exfoliation of your skin, on calming your skin down, and really working on making your skin clearer, more marble-like in that sense, more even in pigmentation and tone, really fading discoloration or old acne marks. I hope you try azelic acid and I hope that you start incorporating it every day into your beauty, beauty routine. Um, what you will notice too though at the beginning when you start using it, you will start to feel it working. It will give you this tingling sensation. Don't be afraid of it. Start slow, start incorporating it a little bit more every day into your skincare routine, and see if you can actually get your skin to that next level. I have found it's super regulating. I have found it's addressed my pores, it's addressed the color and the tone of my skin, and it's also made my skin a lot smoother. And for those of you with bumps underneath your skin, and you know, you feel like you can't really get in there, um, you, you know, other products are not working as efficiently. You've tried the AHAs and BHAs, you've tried the retinoids. The other thing about azelaic acid is it plays well with others. So you can use it with your AHAs and BHAs and retinoids. You can use it with vitamin C. It is one of those very adaptable, in my mind it's very much like a niacinamide. You can use it daytime, nighttime with other formulations and really to enhance your skin. I hope you've enjoyed a little, a little bit about azelic acid. I look forward to your questions and comments. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and as always, have a great day.